what I've got here is a hole where this bolt needs to go in here but the problem is this hole is, is a chipboard um, shoe holder and the trouble with chipboard is once once the screw goes in there that hole it goes threaded the wood wears away and the screw won't sit in the hole so what I want to do is repair that hole so I can get that screw back in and I'm going to show you how to do it so I'm going to strip this down to, to so I can get an easy access to this hole here so what I'm going to do um, I'm going to use one of these little dowels now you get these with IKEA furniture so if you get some IKEA furniture and you have these or any other flat pack furniture and you have these try and save them because they do come in handy for jobs like this uh, so what I'm going to do is hammer that into the hole and then drill a pilot hole and hopefully then the screw should sit nice and tight in the hole uh, I'll just go through it now so this dowel is a little bit too small a little bit too loose in this and that's no good so what I've got I've got a slightly bigger one here and that, that's obviously not going to sit in it so what I'm going to do is just trim that down with a Stanley okay trim that off there just a little bit round so it'll it'll sit in that hole then nice and nice and tight just hammer it in I've done this one earlier so I trimmed that down just there don't know if you can see that okay and that that'll fit in there nice and tight then if I give it a bit of a tap now I want to get it the right size I don't want to go in too deep so what I do is pop that in there tight and then mark that with a Stanley okay and I know then that with that Stanley mark there is how deep I need to go with this one so I'm going to cut that off here um, so I got a nice little short bit to hammer in so I'm just using a junior hacksaw here just nice and gentle want to cut it um, if you use too big a saw um, because it's so small it just wouldn't work as well so it's a junior hack take your time and off it comes in it takes a little bit of niggling because it's so small to hold perhaps if I'd put it in a vice it would have been easier but it didn't take too long with this And there's and there's the piece I need just here I'm just going to hammer that into the hole now I may put just a little bit of gor gor Gorilla wood glue around that just to give it a little bit more stability a bit more secure and then once I set a little bit I'll pop in the um, drill bit in there okay I'm just going to put a little bit of Gorilla glue around it just a little bit here and there Just gives it a little bit of extra strength. Okay, I'm gonna pop that in the hole then. Just here. Just there. And just give it a little bit of a tap with the hammer. Until it's nice and flush. Okay. Make sure you're just holding the other side so you don't damage your cupboard. Right, that's nice and flush there. Okay. Give that a clean off now. So this is the screw I want to be putting in. It goes in through this here. And obviously my pilot hole needs to be just slightly smaller. You can't have it too small because it hasn't got a point in this screw. It won't catch. So I need to get it just slightly smaller. So I've got a 4mm drill bit here just there which is smaller than the thread just enough for it to catch when it when it goes in okay he's just going to drill the hole now one thing that's worth mentioning is that you don't really want to drill deeper than this screw okay so what I'm going to do is mark my drill bit here to make sure I don't go any deeper I just use a little bit of masking masking tape around the drill just on there okay so I need to go a little bit more So I know then that's going to be where I need to stop my drill just here okay just wrap that around and that should be about right there okay that's not far off that's fine so I know not to go deeper than this 
piece of masking tape here. Got my drill bit in, got the nozzle in. Make sure you, when you put your drill in, you keep it nice and straight. Get it in the centre of that dowel. Don't have your drill at an angle. Make sure it's dead straight here, dead straight here, horizontal and parallel. And then just drill in to your depth where you've marked. So I've got the hole drilled. What I'm just doing now is just almost creating like a countersink with my, the end of my screwdriver. It's opening up just a little bit, just so the screw can grip before it starts screwing in, okay? And then what I'm gonna do now is put it all back together and it should so be all fine. I'm just gonna finish off screwing it back in now. And that's really tight in there now. That is. Okay, so that's not going anywhere. Nice and tight. All fixed back to normal again. So you can keep using uh, the shoe drawer. Okay, and that's how you fix a hole that's got threaded and no longer will hold a screw. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.